So you made it, did you? It's been pretty lively here, ever since the black ships arrived and the port opened up. So, what brought you to Yokohama anyway? Well, what do you know? I'm looking for someone too. And no regular person, let me tell you. I've come to pay showing Yoshida a visit. You must have heard the name. He's a great master whose gaze is fixed firmly on the future. He sees what we could be a century from now, and knows how to achieve it. The truth is, we studied under the same master. But now he has students of his own. You should meet him. He and his students should already be here in the city. They're an interesting bunch, believe me. <laughs> hey, did no one ever teach you to walk straight? Why, thank you, sir. That was very kind of you. My name is Takamurayama. I'm a geisha in the Pleasure District. It would be wonderful if the two of you could pay me a visit. Oh, it would be our pleasure, truly. Uh, we were just discussing heading that way. Uh, mm. What marvelous timing. See you soon! Great! Now, come along with me. This calls for a little celebration in the most fun part of town. Come on, the Pleasure District's the best place for gossip. You'll hear all kinds of rumors. No time to lose. Red Demon, you're supposed to be getting rid of the foreigners! Things are getting pretty tense around here. The Red Demon's been busy cracking down on the anti-Shogunate faction. What do people think Blind Panic's going to achieve? Found you, Sakamoto! Don't resist if you know what's good for you! Ah, what a bunch of barbarians. I swear, there's barely anyone in Tosa I can reason with. I think that's where we're headed. That looks like the pleasure district to me. We're here. Ah, could it be? Must be the samurai Taka spoke about. We've been expecting you. Ha <laughs> ha, that's us. How could you tell? She said you were very dashing and that you looked good in leather footwear. I knew it was you straight away. You're clearly very discerning. You'll make a fine geisha. <laughs> My name is Kichi. Kichi Saito. Allow me to welcome you to the pleasure district. Oh! Before I forget, while you are here, it is strictly forbidden to be uncouth or to unsheathe. 
Now, if you would kindly follow me. This way, please. So this is the pleasure district. We're here at last, my friend. My, my. What a place. Definitely a tale or two to be had here, I reckon. The district was only built after the black ships arrived. All kinds of clients come here. Think of this as a place where foreigners and samurai can mingle freely. By the way, did you know that Taka is our most accomplished geisha? It is very rare for her to grant anyone an audience so quickly. You two are very lucky indeed. Please wait in here. Taka will join you in due course. Some more? Oh, thank you, my dear. <laughs> this is quite the place. Aren't you glad we came? Pardon the intrusion. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Please, allow me to attend to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I have a feeling that this may well be your first time in the Miyazaki district. <clears throat> yes, that's right. This is a place of many pleasures. Enjoy, and leave the real world behind. So it turns out I saw a familiar face on the way in. <sighs> I'd better go and say hello. <clears throat> he is a most delightful gentleman. Did you come to Yokohama together? Oh, is that so? You seemed thick as thieves, so I just assumed. May I ask, what brought you to the city? Well, I can't be certain, but I have heard rumors of a certain samurai who came aboard the black ship. Working here, I hear all sorts of things, you know. But before I say more, I have a little favor to ask. I want you to take photographs of the Pleasure District with one of those fancy new cameras. They say a photograph shows things precisely as they are. Well, I want this place to be captured for posterity. Do that for me, and I will tell you about the samurai who came aboard the black ship. Oh, I forgot to mention. To get a camera, you'll need to go to the photographic studio. I know you won't let me down. Ah, it's you. So you're done for the night, are you? No, it was a dead end. This is a place where people know things, but tonight I got nothing. How about you? Have fun?
You have a habit of getting dragged into things, don't you? Oh, by the way, my night wasn't a total loss. Turns out I know the person who owns the longhouse nearby. Even Ronin like you need a place to sleep, right? I'll head over and procure a room. Come check it out later, won't you? Hey! It's a little rundown, but pretty spacious inside. You can keep a change of clothes or anything you'd like here. I hope you'll find it useful. You know, it's not bad relaxing together like this. Right, let's go. Pretty handy, right? You can use it how you like. I'll pop in every now and then. From now on, I'll tell everyone that this is where we're staying. <laughs> that should make things a little livelier. Well, that's it for you and me tonight. But I'm going to keep searching for leads on Master Showin's location. Come on, no need to get all polite. Think nothing of it. I know you've got my back, too. Ah, oh, wait a second. I wanted to give you this. It's a pocket watch. Now you can check the time anytime. Hope you don't mind that it's slightly used. I think you'll still find it handy. Well, see you around. You! What are you doing here? You look shady to me. Out with it! Who are you? We're under strict orders from Lord E to arrest anyone suspicious. <gasps> You're out of line! It's time to teach you a lesson! Huh! <laughs> 
Thanks. That was a big help. I owe you. Those nitwits. They think cameras are some kind of weapon. I'd like to give you a demonstration. But I'm afraid my camera is broken. It means I can't earn a living. How is it, Igashichi? Got it working again? I'm afraid not. Without the schematic, I'm at the end of my rope. <laughs> Curse those dumped thieves! Are you serious? This isn't good. Those thags have no idea of the value of what they've stolen. But I can hardly just go and ask for them back. Uh, wait. Is that my glider prototype you have there? You managed to get it back from those thieves! Most impressive! Could it work? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, but it might! I can see it all in my head, the perfect plan. I need those schematics back. And if you help me, I'll give you a camera. Sound good? A clear and rational response. You must have the inventor's spirit. Those thieves have a base in the Mitre Castle ruins. But we can't just stroll straight in. Head to the temple hall nearby. Oh, dear. <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igashichi Izuka. Back home in Hitachi, I'm known as Igashichi the Tinkerer. Well, I shall see you there. Dear me, it seems he's fired up once again. Well, please do what you can to help him. Over here, my friend! Over here! Ah, there you are! Now, listen up. Here's the plan. Those bandits are holed up in the castle. If we march straight up to the front door, it will be suicide. Luckily, we can use my prototype to glide in from here. Once you are in there, you simply need to retrieve my blueprints. Shall we get started? Are you ready to take to the skies? Marvelous! Now, just to relax. I've never tested it, but the science behind it is impeccable. I'm afraid I can't come to your aid if you are apprehended. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Best of luck. I'm ready for action!
I'm fighting you. So you were spotted by the bandits, but still managed to prevail. Magnificent! I saw those wretches fleeing for their lives. Oh, my blueprints! Thank you! I was worried that those delinquents might have disposed of them. Now I'll finally be able to show the studio now what I can do. Here's the prototype I promised you. Take it. Hold on, hold on. Make sure you use it, you hear? Your banter sound all around you. Now, I believe there's an elevated area in these grounds. Why not try taking a picture from there? Follow me. This way, follow me. This used to be a fine castle where the Lords of Kira resided. But his best days are now behind it. Come on! Over here. Very well. It's time to give that camera a go. Don't be shy. Ah! Oh, I know! The temple hall where we met is the perfect spot for a photograph. I'm glad to see you like my camera. Impressive, no? Yet this is just the beginning. There are so many improvements I want to make. Ah, speaking of which... I must go. I have a camera I need to fix. <laughs> the fellow who runs that place has a temper, you see. Anyway, I'll be in Yokohama for a while. It's the place to be for anyone keen to learn more about foreign ideas and inventions. Remember, it's not just cameras I double in. If ever I can assist you in some way, just let me know. Wonderful! I would be delighted to help. And I have a feeling you will put my devices to good use. I'm lodging in the photographic studio in Yokohama for the time being. Feel free to come and see me anytime. There are all sorts of improvements I want to make to that camera. So don't be a stranger, you hear? Well, I see you've acquired a camera. I knew I could rely on you. Now, if I may, I would like to ask you to take some photographs for me. Then I shall direct you to a number of rooms. Be sure to capture the sheer energy of this place. I will await you in the central room upstairs.
Are you? You don't have to worry. We were just talking. I promise. My mistress paid me to speak to him. That's just it. Very soon, then I'll pay up, and you and me can, you know. Ah, oh, that's wonderful to hear. But how did you get the money? Here, it's something like this. In other words, it's like this. No, no, no. That's not it at all. In other words, it's like this. Have the good. But there seem to be more than usual. Well, I've built up a stockpile. I thought you might appreciate a little extra. Hey, <laughs> this isn't good. If I get caught with all this, I'm in real trouble. Oh, don't be like that. Oh my, you work fast. <laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally, I want you to go to the room down the hall. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. He's rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. Just make sure he doesn't notice you. So how are we going to get at Harris? If you have any ideas, speak up. The consulate is very well guarded. We can't attack from the front. Well, how about a diversion? We start the scaffold at the front, then sneak in from the side. Did you get your picture? Huh? 
Who are you? Come to the garden now. Admit it. You're a spy for the Shogunate, aren't you? I'll cut you down. I'm about to unleash my most deadly technique. Well, well, look who... Oh no, did Katsura pick a fight with you? So you know him? Oh, I know him all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Showin. Katsura here is an old student and close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. Oh. I'm sorry. I had an important matter to attend to. Back to the drinks. Next round on me. <laughs> I came to see what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. Oh, thank you. What a wonderful picture. I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. The samurai who came aboard a black ship. When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. They say that Samurai has a hand like a demon's claw, and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard. He came here to conclude an important treaty with our nation. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? While I do still have some requests for you, for tonight, 
Please, enjoy your time here. Oh, heading home, are you? I heard you're looking for someone who came on the black ships. Taka told me. So, did you find out anything? Ah, that's a shame. But there's no need to be downhearted. I've had an idea. I know there was that incident, but Katsura's a fellow worth knowing. He might well need your help with this and that. I recommend staying on his good side. I'll warrant his head's cleared by now, so maybe you should pay him a visit. He's staying at the Sakura Inn. Head there now and you'll catch him. I bet he can help you find whoever it is you're looking for. I'm going to keep searching for Master Shoin. Once I find him, I'll introduce you, I promise. You and I are true friends now, no doubt about it. If you're ever in trouble, just let me know. Hmm. Uh, haven't we met somewhere? Hmm, not the peaceful loving type are you? Oh, from the pleasure district. <laughs> That's right. I remember those eyes. Sorry about all that. My memory is pretty hazy. Ah. Had a few too many again, did you? Sadly, yes. And they ended up getting soundly beaten by our friend here. To be honest, I might have struggled even stone cold sober. Your skill with the sword is quite something, but you seem to be self-taught. I recommend you test your metal at a proper dojo. Ganzui here is off to do just that. And he's no slouch when it comes to his studies either. No wonder he's showing Yoshida's favorite. <laughs> This accursed city is full of outsiders acting like they own the place. Removing them from our land calls for force, not diplomacy. Now is the time to show the world the tenacity of our blades. In the name of this divine country... <sighs> there he goes again. I'm going gambling. I've been rather short on coin of late. Where are your manners, Shinsaku? Show our guests some courtesy. Want to join me? You seem like a lucky sort. I get the feeling you survived a few scrapes you shouldn't have. It may not look like it, but those two are fine, upstanding young men. I recommend you get to know them. Genzui's dojo is right here in Yokohama, and I have a good idea where Shinsoku is headed. Perhaps you might join them. 
<laughs> Did Ryoma recommend me? I see his ability to connect people still surpasses my own. Listen, I have no problem helping you out. But I'll need a little something in return. Tell me, what do you make of the state of this nation? Here we are, with the Western powers circling us as we speak. And yet, the Red Demon speaks with America, and brooks no opposition. He is intent on signing a treaty, which will be a disaster for us. This is truly a critical moment for Japan. So you agree. That makes me feel less alone. The time has come to instill a new start for this nation. That is what Master Shoin and I have sworn to accomplish. But at this critical juncture, my comrade's whereabouts are unknown. Once that treaty is signed, it will be too late. If Sakamoto trusts you, then so will I. Our plan is to kill Harris, the American consul, and halt the negotiations. But in order to do that, we need more able warriors on our side. We would be grateful if you would see fit to join us. I have heard you are seeking the samurai who came on the black ship. Word is that they now serve as one of Harris's bodyguards. Once we attack the council, the one you seek will undoubtedly appear. This gives us common purpose, does it not? But there is no need to answer right away. If you wish to join us, meet us in front of the American consulate. I hope to see you there. So you came. The others are already in position. It seems security is tighter than we expected. Still, if we can get to Harris, the samurai you seek is bound to appear. If we join forces, we'll all get what we want. So, what do you say? Splendid. Now, let's wait for our chance. Oh! 
here. Get him. Don't move. Prepare yourself. Bring it out. Take it back. Oh, you're dead. You. Bring it on. Too bad. 
enough. Alive and well. That is a relief. You know, it seems you really were born lucky. Not that everything went smoothly, of course. Harris got away, I understand. Did you find that samurai who came on the black ship? So, even one as gifted as you was foiled. But getting that close to Harris was no minor feat. The Americans were ready for us. It's almost as if someone tipped him off. Stop that nonsense. I know how you feel, but this wild speculation helps no one. The treaty will be signed, no doubt. We must accept that. But we will not give up. The Red Demon and the Americans may be looking for you, but we will aid you. We're in the same boat now. After all. Well, until next time. In 
spite of Harris's close call, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce was concluded at last. In the end, the Imperial Court did not assent. We did all we could to explain, but our words fell on deaf ears. And now, there are those who would have our heads, who believe we have slighted the Imperial Court. There is no other way. Should the time come when we must atone for this deed, I alone shall pay the price. With this momentous agreement, Japan opened up to the world. <laughs>